Hi, it's Tracy here to share with you another way to use the Birch Press Design Peony Bloom Stackable Dies. I'm using Distress Oxide inks to create three backgrounds. I chose Abandoned Coral, Fossilized Amber, and Wild Honey. I'm sponging Layer C in Abandoned Coral, Layer B a blend of Wild Honey and Fossilized Amber, and finally Layer A in Wild Honey. I'm going to speed the video up a little bit while I do my sponging. See you in a minute. are done, I'm going to spritz a bit of water on them. Once I do that, I'll wait a few seconds and then absorb up the excess water with paper towel. I really love the end results of doing this. I set the panels aside to dry and then use the Peony Bloom stackable dies to cut the panels. Once they were cut, I poked all the pieces out and set them down again in front of me to have a look. Now that they are cut, I felt they still needed a bit more distressing, so I dipped my paintbrush into some clean water and tapped more on. I decided to sponge some Peacock Feather Distress Oxide ink onto my card base, and then I adhered all the layers together using Elmer's Cross Bond Spray Adhesive. Make sure if you're using this that you do it in a well-ventilated area. The last step was to add the sentiment that I previously stamped and die cut using the Make a Statement Stamp and Craft Die Set. Now the card is done, and today I hope I inspired you to make something beautiful. Thanks for joining me.